Coming into the year with Super Bowl aspirations, it was a disappointing 7-9 season for the Atlanta Falcons, who battled injuries early on while their defense took a step back from 2017. Among the bright spots, left tackle Jake Matthews finished with the best pass blocking grade and the fewest pressures allowed of his career. His pass block grade of 85.8 ranked 6th best among tackles. Interior defensive lineman Grady Jarrett finished with a career-high 91 overall grade while leading the team in total pressures with 53 and ranking second in stops with 30 despite missing two games. Jarrett also ranked fourth in pass rush win percentage at 16.6, sixth in pressure percentage at 12.3%, and also posted a run-stop percentage of 9.7. Wide receiver Julio Jones was exceptional once again, finishing with the third highest grade among all wide receivers. His 2.93 yards per route run ranked first in the NFL, marking the fourth straight year he paced the league in this all-important category. On the other side, injuries decimated both sides of the ball as running back Devontae Freeman, safeties Keanu Neal and Ricardo Allen, linebacker Deion Jones, and guard Andy Levitre all played a total of 14 games. Cornerback Robert Alford saw a big drop-off in his play. After a career-best 76.7 grade in 2017, Alford graded at just 56.6 in 2018, and he allowed a passer rating of 138.9 into his coverage while also picking up 12 penalties. And while QB Matt Ryan's box score stats were similar to his MVP campaign in 2016, inconsistency plagued the offense and a four-game stretch saw the Falcons score less than 20 points in each game as they fell from 4-4 to 4-8 on the season. Demonte Casey stepped in for the Falcons' injured safety tandem and played the second most snaps on the defense with 991. He had the second highest grade on the defensive side at 77.9 while leading the NFL in interceptions with 7. First round wide receiver Calvin Ridley lived up to the hype with 821 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns, both highs among rookie pass catchers. His 8 dropped passes kept his receiving grade at only 70.5, but he had a passer rating of 125.8 when targeted, 8th best in the NFL. Falcons may have disappointed in 2018, but they still have plenty of pieces to make another Super Bowl run in 2019.